when we work with absolute value inequalities, we can follow a very, very similar procedures to what we did with absolute value equations. Meaning, first check that your absolute value bars are isolated. If not, deal with that. Once they are, we can go ahead and split into our two separate inequalities. One of them is going to be the exact same as the beginning, just drop the bars. So we get 4x plus 5 has to be greater than 13. For your Pizarro equation, the split, again, what's in the bars stays protected, so 4x plus 5. What's outside the bars will change signs, so negative 13. But the only big difference in our, with equations is not only do you change that sign, but you're also going to flip that inequality symbol around in your Pizarro equation. That's really a, the only difference other than we'll graph the solution when we're done, like we normally graph uh, inequality problems. So let's solve each side. I'm going to get 4x has to be greater than, or greater than 8. Divide both sides by 4, so there's my x is greater than 2. Remember, if you ever divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, those, that siren goes off and it tells you to flip the inequality symbol around. Uh, the other side, I get 4x has to be less than negative 18. Uh, I'm dividing by 4, and even though there's a negative, I'm not dividing by a negative, so my inequality is not flipping uh, directions. So I end up with uh, x has to be less than negative 9 halves or negative 4.5 if you prefer. Now, when I go to do my number line, uh, as you may see on the bottom of this, I'm going to end up with a graph that's either an and or an or graph, like we've seen before. I don't really want to memorize which one's which, so I'm just going to graph this one and kind of see what happens. Be careful that uh, you flip the order of your numbers, like negative 4.5 is smaller than 2, so make sure that goes on the left. Don't just drop the number straight down from up above. Uh, I am not allowed to be equal to either of those values, so both of these are going to be open circles, because I'm not allowed to be equal to 2 or negative 4.5. And then let's see what each inequality says. This inequality says to graph all the numbers that are greater than 2, so numbers like 5 and 20 and 3 million, so all the numbers in that direction. Uh, this side of the inequality says to graph all the numbers that are smaller than negative 4.5, so negative 10, negative 30, negative 80, all in that direction. So I ended up getting a graph that, if you remember, looks like our OR graphs when I graph one of these. Go ahead and try that second problem. If you uh, can pause the video, my work will show up in just a couple seconds if you want to check it. If you have any questions, uh, make a note of it, ask me in class, or feel free to email me. There you go, uh, check your solutions. Hopefully you got the same thing I did. Uh, make sure both of those circles are filled in and then this graph ended up being an AND graph. It's all the points that were in between negative three and positive seven.